Hello and welcome to Buncombe Monthly, a show right here on Buncombe County Government Television to let you know about some great upcoming events taking place here in Buncombe County. In today's episode, we're coming to you from beautiful Lake Tomahawk in Black Mountain in front of the Lakeview Senior Center, where we're going to talk about later on because they're having a great event coming up here in December. Now to hear about anything I mention in today's episode again, you can visit our website at buncombecounty.org. To watch this program again or any of BCTV's great original programming, you can visit buncombecounty.org slash YouTube or you can stream our channel live at bctv.vibit.com. Over the next two months, there will be a ton of holiday light shows for you and your entire family to visit. There's the Shadrach Christmas Wonderland, the Winter Lights, the NC Arboretum, and of course, the Lake Julian Festival of Lights, sponsored by the Buncombe County Recreation Department. The Lake Julian Festival of Lights is taking place from December 2nd through the 23rd at Lake Julian Park, located at 406 Overlook Road in Arden. It features thousands of colored lights and 50 animated stationary light displays. While the drive through presentation begins on December 2nd, if you visit on December 1st, you'll be able to do a walking tour of the lights. There will also be a fire for roasting marshmallows, delicious hot chocolate, and there will be rumors that Santa will make an appearance if you know any special children looking to make a wish. For more information, you can visit buncombecounty.org parks. The NC Arboretum's Winter Lights takes place from November 28th through January 1st. You can stroll through the over 500,000 lights throughout the garden with a light show at the large Christmas tree taking place every 30 minutes. Don't forget to stop by the S'mores Station or the Education Center to pick up some 3D glasses for the light show. For directions, ticket prices, or more information, visit ncarboretum.org. Shadrach's Christmas Wonderland Lights is taking place to no Shadrach's Christmas Wonderland Lights is taking place November 23rd through December 28th at the WNC Ag Center in Fletcher, just down the road from the Asheville Airport. You'll drive slowly through tw you'll drive slowly ugh. you'll drive slowly through lots of twists and turns so you can view the lights from every angle. Don't forget to stop by Santa's Village through December 23rd to get some hot cocoa, kettle corn, and souvenirs, including a photo with the big red guy himself. For more information about costs, times, and directions, you can visit ShadrackChristmas.com. For more information about any of these upcoming light shows, you can visit BuncombeCounty.org. The great part about all three locations is that they'll be around for a month or longer, so you can check them all out. If you're looking for the perfect Christmas tree, why not buy local? You can get a Madison County tree through the Buncombe County Soil and Water Conservation District's annual Christmas tree sale. The deadline to order is November 22nd, and all trees must be ordered in advance. You can pick them up at the Soil and Water Conservation District's office at 49 Mount Carmel Road between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. on December 1st and 2nd. The trees are 5, 6, 7, and 8 foot number one Fraser firs from Madison County, and the costs range between $32 and $42. The best part? Proceeds will help benefit educational programs sponsored by Soil and Water. For more information, you can visit buncombecounty.org slash soil or give them a call at 828-250-4785. If you already have a tree and are looking for tips on how to make sure you're taking care of it properly, then Cooperative Extension is a great resource for you. They have a Master Gardener hotline and a fantastic website that offers a lot of great information on making sure your indoor plants look their best. Visit their website at buncombe.ces. Dot NCSU dot edu, or you can call the Master Gardener hotline at 828-255-5522. The Asheville Holiday Parade has been a staple here in Buncombe County for 70 years now. It's their 70th anniversary. I can't believe it. If you've never gone, it's a great time. It takes place downtown. There are marching bands, dancers, singers, performances, and even a visit from Santa himself. It's taking place on Saturday, November 19th, beginning at 11 a.m. It begins at Biltmore Avenue and Charlotte Street and travels north. The performance stop as well as the parade judges and TV cameras will be located at the intersection of Biltmore Avenue and Patton Avenue at Pack Square. The Asheville Holiday Parade is presented by Bojangles of Western North Carolina. For more information about the Downtown Holiday Parade, you can visit AshevilleDowntown.org. The Buncombe County Public Library System is a great resource for activities for the entire family. No, it's not just a place to quietly check out a book and read. So whether you're an adult who likes book clubs, if you're a kid who likes story times, or if you're a teenager who loves their teen awesome groups, there's a great event for you. In fact, here are a few of them coming up this holiday season. 
there are too many to mention, and this show is going to last for just two months, so I don't want to mention any that you won't be able to attend because it already passed. So I'll just say it's definitely worth keeping up with the library programs by visiting buncombecounty.org slash library. There is a great interactive calendar of events on the website, so you can pick the dates, times, and libraries for all the great programs you're looking for. While you're at the library, make sure to check out the variety of books, movies, and CDs they have. Again, for more information, visit buncombecounty.org slash library. How fitting we're out here at Lake Tomahawk and Black Mountain for this next event I'm going to tell you about. It's the Black Mountain Circle of Lights that takes place right here. It starts off with a parade downtown and ends here with a visit from Santa and lots of holiday lights. It's taking place on Saturday, December 3rd at Lake Tomahawk Park from 5 to 7 p.m. However, check out the Black Mountain Christmas Parade beginning downtown at 4 p.m. as the parade will end at the Circle of Lights. These events have been a popular family attraction for years now, and they get bigger and brighter every year. For more information about the Circle of Lights, the Black Mountain Christmas Parade, or for more great events that take place at the Lakeview Center in Black Mountain, you can visit Black Mountain Recreation and Parks website at bmrp.recdesk.com. Buncombe County Master Gardeners want you to know that come December, it's the peak season for getting your soil tested, which means you're going to have to start paying for it. However, you have until the end of November to get your soil testing for free. If you want to get your soil tested, just follow these simple steps. Step 1. Pick up the Lawn and Garden Sample Information Form and a soil sample box from the Office of Cooperative Extension at 49 Mount Carmel Road in Asheville. You can also download the information form at buncombemastergardener.org. Step 2. Getting the perfect soil sample. Your soil is only as good as the sample taken. Use a clean, ungalvanized tool in a plastic bucket. For lawns and flower beds, get a 4-inch depth sample. For tilled vegetable beds, take a slice up to 6 inches in depth. Best to wait for the soil to be dry, as soil that is too wet is difficult to sample. Step 3. Fill out the form based on your sample, and don't forget to include your email address. Finally, Step 4. Put the soil sample in the sample box you picked up at Cooperative Extension. No plastic bags or tape are allowed. That's it. Four simple steps to get better understanding of your lawn and garden. When you get your results, you'll learn the best strategies to grow the plants, vegetables, or flowers you want to grow. For more information about getting your soil tested, you can visit BuncombeMasterGardener.org or you can call the Cooperative Extension Master Gardener Hotline at 828-255-5522. The Asheville Community Theater is hosting a great event from the Bright Star Community Theater coming up this holiday season. It's a play for the entire family called Christmas with Santa. It's taking place on December 10th at 10 a.m. and it's best for grades kindergarten through fifth. Christmas with Santa is a 45-minute fast-paced production packed with carols, Santa, and Christmas galore. The spirit of the holidays are celebrated in this hysterical Christmas-wrapped comedy with two hilarious elves who seem to have misplaced Santa's presence. When Santa arrives, he teaches the well-meaning elves that the real gift of the season are the people and friends we celebrate it with. For more information about the show, to purchase tickets, or to learn about any of the Asheville Community Theater's great upcoming performances, you can check out AshevilleTheater.org. Well, this next event isn't taking place in Buncombe County, but I still had to mention it because it's a perfect thing for the whole family to do during the holiday season. It's the Great Smoky Mountain Polar Express, and I hear it's making a stop at the North Pole. Over 70,000 passengers rode the Polar Express with the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad in 2015. The hour-plus round-trip excursion comes to life with a quiet journey through the wilderness before it reaches its North Pole destination. On the journey, you'll be treated to warm cocoa and a treat while listening and reading along to the magical story. Santa Claus will be waiting at the North Pole to greet children and present them with a special gift, their own silver sleigh bell, as in the Polar Express book. It will operate from November 11th through January 1st. The trip occurs daily, so if you're interested or want more information, including the address and cost, visit gsmr.com slash events slash Polar Express but Googling it is just as easy. The Asheville Humane Society wants you to know that getting someone a pet for a present seems like a good idea, but it's actually not. You can give friends and family a pet as a gift, but never give them a surprise pet as a gift. Pets are a wonderful addition to a family, but not everyone has the time, energy, money, or interest in having a pet. So make sure to ask up front first. 
And speaking of pets, if you're looking to add one to your family, look no further than the Asheville Humane Society. They have plenty of adoptable dogs, cats, and more that are in need of a good home. Plus, when you adopt from the Asheville Humane Society, not only are you saving a life, but all of the pets have been spayed, neutered, received their shots, and some basic training. All right, now Jack is being quiet here, but he's a chatty little kitten. He is three months old, domestic short hair, and he is ready to go home. Ophelia's a female, she's a year and a half, and just look at those bright green eyes. Pillsbury is a 10-year-old female calico, and she is looking for a diet buddy right now, but she is super loving. Francine is a female, seven years old, and she's an independent little lady who wants to be your queen. Mama Mia, she's three years old, and this girl, she's had 10 kittens. All 10 of her babies are adopted. It's time for this little lady to find her own home. Meet Ty. He's a six-year-old hound mix, and he's a mellow fellow who likes to ride in cars. Meet Flash. He's a 10-year-old hound mix, a little gray around the muzzle, but oh, just oh so sweet. Lexus is a four-year-old female pit mix. She's gentle, she's sweet, she likes the car, she just wants to be everybody's best friend. Max is a six-year-old min pen, and he is a sweet little happy boy. Just look at that tail go. Oreo is a five-year-old terrier mix, and he is a smart little man just waiting for his person. Two cute little baby bunnies, Cindy and Jan, and uh, they're three months old. They're a Rex Lionhead mix, and Cindy's already found her home, and Jan is waiting for the same. To reach the Asheville Humane Society, you can call us at 828-761-2001, or to view all of our available animals for adoption, visit our website at AshevilleHumane.org. Well, the smell of gingerbread is in the air, and that can only mean one thing, that it's time for the 2016 National Gingerbread House Competition at the Omni Grove Park Inn. Every year it grows in size, scope, and taste, and it's almost become a holiday tradition here in Buncombe County. It's taking place between November 27th and January 5th at the Omni Grove Park Inn. It will open its doors to the public on Sundays beginning at 3 p.m. and last through Thursday of each week. On weekdays it's open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. This is their 24th year of the gingerbread competition, and after judging and the awards ceremonies are over, the display will be set up throughout the hotel and will be open for public viewing. A $10 parking charge will be in effect for all drive-on guests during the holiday season, one charge per vehicle. For more information about the event, you can call 1-800-438-5800 or email gpi.events at omnihotels.com. The WNC Nature Center is getting in on the holiday festivities with their Winter's Tail event. So if you haven't been to the Nature Center in a long time, or if you frequent it, it's a good excuse for both to go check it out. It's taking place on Saturday, December 3rd at the WNC Nature Center, located at 75 Gaseous Creek Road in Asheville from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. There will be festive crafts, games, and of course, wild encounters. Regular admission rates still apply, and Friends members get in for free. Activities will also include gingerbread houses, garlands, crafts, candle dipping, making pine cone feeders, temporary tattoos, and a special animal enrichment program. And don't forget, Santa will be there. For more information, visit WNCNatureCenter.com. If you want to celebrate Christmas in a more old-fashioned way, then why not check out the Smith McDowell House Museum's 19th Century Carolina Christmas Display. It's taking place November 17th through January 2nd at the Smith McDowell House Museum at 283 Victoria Road in Asheville. It opens at 10 a.m. daily. The Mansion and Local History Museum will be authentically decorated with fresh trees, garlands, ornaments, and toys from the Victorian period. Seven period rooms will be decked out with gold, silver, and glassware from the museum's permanent collection. This holiday experience is available during regular museum hours. For more information, including directions or cost of entry, you can call 828-253-9231 or visit wnchistory.org. Well, everyone knows the Biltmore House decorates every year for Christmas and it's lavish and beautiful and everyone should go and check it out. But did you know that every year they do a candlelight tour? Special tickets are available, so find out how to get some. It will take place the evenings of November 4th through January 7th at 1 Lodge Street in Asheville. 
From fireplace mantles draped with evergreens to towering trees festooned with lights, candlelight Christmas evenings offer a warm welcome to all visitors. Your self-guided candlelight visit also includes daytime admission to Antler Hill Village and Winery, gardens, shops, and restaurants with special holiday menus on the day of your evening visit or the day after. A special ticket is required, and you can visit their website, Biltmore.com, for more details. Well, Main Street in Weaverville is turning into a small town winter wonderland for you, so if you like good holiday food and some carolers, you should definitely check it out. It's taking place on December 9th from 6 to 9 p.m. on Main Street in Weaverville. You can even take a horse and carriage ride through downtown, enjoy performances by the Weaverville Dance Academy and the Southern Connections Cloggers, strolling carolers, the Montford Park Players, and a special performance by the Weaverville Baptist Church. Kids will be able to enjoy story time with Jill Toteman, and of course, Santa will be there. For more information, you can check out visitweaverville.com. For 28 years now, Warren Haynes has gathered his best musician friends together to put on a great Christmas concert in downtown Asheville. The London Times even called it one of the 10 best concerts in the USA, so mark your calendar. It's taking place on Saturday, December 10th at 7 p.m. at the Civic Center, which is 87 Haywood Street in Asheville. More artists will be announced, but now they have Government Mule, Bob Weir, Michael McDonald, Jamie Johnson and Allison Krauss, and the Last Waltz Band. For more information, you can call 828-259-5544. To purchase tickets, visit xmasjam.com. Well, Montfort is one of Asheville's most historic neighborhoods, and every year they get together and decorate the entire thing for the holiday season for a walking tour. So if you want to see some eclectic architecture and learn about the great history of Montfort, then check it out. It's taking place on Saturday, December 10th from 1 to 5 p.m. Festive treats and entertainment will be featured thanks to the neighbors who donate their time and talents to the event. This will be a self-guided tour. With your ticket, with your ticket purchase, you will receive a map to all tour locations and information about the individual properties. Proceeds will benefit the Montford Neighborhood Association for improvement projects and youth programs at the Montford Recreation Center. For more information, you can email elnutter at aol.com or contact Kate Scales, tour director, at 828-280-1576. Now it's time to keep an eye out for the Mountains Most Wanted of November and December of 2016. Now just so you know, if you have information that leads to an arrest of any of these individuals, you could be eligible for a cash reward. Just remember the phone number, 828-255-5050. Roy Dean Worley is wanted for Failure to report change of address as a sex offender Worley is a 57-year-old white male who is 5'10 and weighs 140 pounds. He has brown hair and green eyes. His last known address, 20 Davidson Drive, Asheville. Adam Neil Massey is wanted for Assault on a female Massey is a 20-year-old white male who is 5'7 and weighs 152 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. His last known address, 45 Francis Avenue, Black Mountain. Robert Travis Fox is wanted for resisting public officers and civil order for non-support. Fox is a 29-year-old white male who is 5 foot 10 and weighs 180 pounds. He has red hair and blue eyes. His last known address, 52 Short Vine Street, Asheville. Amanda Elizabeth Rice is wanted for misdemeanor larceny and civil order for non-support. Rice is a 29-year-old white female who is 5 foot 1 and weighs 180 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. Her last known address, 1045 Riverside Drive, Asheville. If you know the location of any of the mounts most wanted, you could receive a cash reward. All you have to do is email tips at buncombecounty.org or you can call Crime Stoppers at 828-255-5050. With your help, we can continue to make Buncombe County a safer place to live, work, and play.
Well, thank you for watching and thank you for joining us out here at beautiful Lake Tomahawk here in Black Mountain. I hope you can check out the Circle of Lights, the Lake Julian Festival of Lights, and all of the great holiday activities I mentioned in today's show. Now, just so you know, all the information I gave you in today's episode can be found on our website, buncombecounty.org. If you'd like to see this program again or any of BCTV's original programming, make sure to check out our website at buncombecounty.org slash bctv. And finally, you can stream our channel live to your tablet, computer, or even mobile device. Just visit bctv.vibit.com. Now, this is the last episode I'm going to do this year for Buncombe Monthly. However, there will be a special edition coming out next month that's recapping everything great that happened in Buncombe County in 2016. So stay tuned for it, and have a great holiday season, Buncombe County.